So this Apex Legends Mobile 2.0 game just dropped a trailer yesterday and it looked very, very similar to Apex Legends Mobile. Let's check it out. Alright, so here's a new trailer for Apex Legends Mobile China. Okay, so already we've got the same... It looks like, what's that, Wraith? I don't know who the hell this is. I don't know who the hell this is either. Let's just keep watching. This, this is weird. This looks exactly like the first Apex Legends mobile trailer we saw from Global War. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who is this guy? Who's this guy? Who is this? Is this like some Samurai Ock game? What's going on? Alright, so straight away we've got the R301, the exact same layout as Apex Mobile. We've got the kills that are the same. Some of the buttons look different. I think we've got the map just behind as well. It looks exactly the same. And that R301, I don't even know, does that, that looks, it looks like an R301, let's just keep watching. It kind of looks, cl it looks clunkier compared to Apex Mobile, like, look at this bag down here, like, I know it's just in testing right now, but, it's got HDR, 44 ping, yo, 44 ping chat. Okay, that was an R301, and that was a, but, yeah, what was, oh, no, let's, let's pause it right here as well, what was this, is this like Gibby's bubble? Oh no, so that was uh that was Fade's uh Fade's tactical, he's throwing his tactical and trapping them. So so that is Fade. If you guys don't want to know this this character right here, this is Fade, or this is their version of Fade. Interesting. Korean. Korean. This looks so weird, man. But this is World's Edge. If you look behind, this is World's Edge. You've actually got World's no, no. Edge. And that was a wall bounce as well. Okay. This is looking good. Good. That's World's Edge. Yeah. That is Lifeline, or some Wish version of Lifeline. And she's... She's got a... Wow, so she's got a shield as well. What are these enemies? Who is that there? Who is that she's shooting? Is that some sort of... That's like a freaking Power Ranger. What's going on there? And is that Valk behind? Is that Valkyrie? But look, this is exact World's Edge. That is Skyhook right there. That's Skyhook. They got some new trees and stuff in the background as well. This is interesting, man. This is interesting. I'm actually quite excited for this. All right, they got the, uh, the airdrops. Oh, we got this version of Wraith as well. Yo, she looks kind of badass. She looks better than Wraith, in my opinion. Look at this... Like animation as well. Imagine if you actually get this in the game where it looks like she's like cracking out of like a mirror or something. Yo, she looks so okay. Oh, and they've got the uh, the new world's edge as well. Got the new buildings as well. That is a it looks like a prowler and an Ari. I wanna know who that is. Who is this character right here? It looks like a freaking Spartan. It looks like a Halo ODST character. Okay, so got airdrops. They got the Kramer. Oh, damn. That is cold. Yo, she actually looks OP as hell. And they got the exact same Kramer layout as well. And there is Valk. Confirmed. And we got three in the background. There is Valk. Or their version of Valk. I'm not sure who this is. It doesn't really say who this is, but what's, what's uh... I don't know who this is. Oh, that must be Gibraltar. He's got the uh, the uh, arm shield as well. Uh, the Spartan-looking guy is Gibraltar, because look, there's this bubble shield, which looks clunky as well. Why does it look like some sort of weird hexagon? It looks clunky, but this is Olympus as well. So we've got confirmed... Wait, this, is Olymp this isn't Olympus. What's this like ramp going here? But then they've got a tree there. Maybe this is the Olympus map, sorry, not World's Edge. Yeah. Or maybe they took like aspects of World's Edge and put it into Olympus. Like this is tree from World's Edge going into Olympus. So it's going to be quite interesting. Maybe they're like mixing and matching the maps. Right. Pretty bad headshot. That's their version of Fade. I mean, this, this, looks this looks 
just as good as the Apex Mobile trailers. And there's the end screen right there. Again, there's, they've got so many different aspects. Like if we just slow mo it through, this is like World's Edge slash Olympus. They've got like aspects of World's Edge in there. Like that's like bunker or like one of the the gateways into Olympus. And then you've got like tree and like the same sort of rock outline as like uh, the the World's Edge map. So this is kind of crazy that there uh, there's so many like copying aspects. I mean. Basically, this is Tencent. This is Tencent that have taken all the assets. This is what they were working on, as well as working on Apex Legends Mobile, which is why Apex Mobile didn't have enough sort of community response and enough sort of, you know, help to, to improve all the bugs and all the reports that we were giving them. So it looks like they were working on this game, ready to release it in China. Now, this, again, is only available in China. Like, that's Valk right there. That is a Valk. Um... This is only available in China. I, a lot of people are asking whether it's going to be available globally. I hope it is because we've got, you know, World's Edge. We've got so many things that we were, that we had at the end of Apex Mobile that we wanted at the beginning, like World's Edge, Olympus. Um, the character designs, I kind of like, you know. I, I, I don't think they look bad. I just think, you know, they have to look different. I love Rafe's sort of portal there. The Rafe's portal looks OP there. Um, but yeah, you got the airdrops, you got everything, everything the game, you know, Apex Mobile had towards the end, basically, but more. Probably going to be a lot more optimized. I'm looking at the ping down there as well, and there's like 41 ping, and we had like 500 ping, so it's probably going to be better than what it, uh, what it was for Apex, so. Pretty much the same game, and I hope it comes globally. Let's talk about when it's actually going to come out. So they have confirmed here that High Energy Heroes um, officially exposed the game's real machine PV, and it's expected to be officially launched at the end of 2023, so the end of this year. Now, right now, they've got some sort of private test going on that you can actually get into. I'm going to actually be able to get into it, hopefully. Um, you need a QQ number to be able to get into it, and you have to be based in China to get that, but I've got some sort of workaround, so I should be able to get into that. You'll be able to show you guys some gameplay as long as it's not under NDA, which it probably will be. But I'll be able to show you as much as what I can. Um, and that's basically it. So the game is expected to come at the end of this year. So I still think Apex Mobile 2.0 is going to come back. You know, the developers, EA and Respawn, they're not just going to leave the mobile market just like that with Apex Mobile, you know. It was a huge game. I had so much hype behind it. Yeah, it wasn't maintained well and it wasn't properly managed, but... We gave a lot of feedback and they gained a lot of feedback as well from those nine months of Apex Mobile being launched. So hopefully they can put that into Apex Mobile 2.0 and we can have Apex Mobile back on the App Store. And we don't have to play this weird Chinese version, which looks kind of scuffed, but we'll see how it turns out. It might be more optimized. It might be better, but I think Apex Mobile will come back in the future as a 2.0, the real Apex Mobile. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you hit a like, drop a comment down below, and I'll try and be as active as I can for you guys. I know I've been a bit stale on content at the moment. The mobile space is kind of dry with the games that are out right now, but I'll try and bring you guys some news and some updates, and hopefully in the next big game, I can bring you some banger videos as well. So thank you boys for watching. Catch you boys in the next one. Peace!